Indigenous-led conservation works in Australia. Indigenous protected areas, or IPAs, make up nearly 50% of the national system of parks and reserves, employing 123 teams of Indigenous rangers to protect and manage lands and waters. You've been cold before, but you've never been this cold in your life. In January 2019, senior Indigenous land managers toured Canada to share what they know. It's quite a success story in Australia. We want to learn from that and build on that success. Many First Nations in Canada are also proposing IPAs. And, like rangers, Indigenous Guardians programs provide jobs to care for land, if they're funded. It's no good, absolutely no good, if you declare a protected area and uh, don't have adequate resources. It needs to be on a long-term basis. Australia invests over $20 million a year in Indigenous protected areas and $90 million a year in Indigenous ranger programs. Initially, this investment was motivated around environmental management. Multiple benefits have arisen out of the investment. In Australia, what they've shown is that for every dollar invested, they get a return on investment valued at $3, so translates into things like reduced rates of violence against women, reduced rates of incarceration, job retention, language retention, and really a sense of, of identity. Bringing the Australians to Canada showcased that opportunity to decision makers and as well as to our own Indigenous leadership across Canada. Indigenous protected areas have also been established across Canada and dozens more have been proposed. Over 60 Indigenous Guardians programs run at least part-time across the country. So we do have a basis to build off of. We're looking to, to expanding that Guardians program to a similar scale as what's being delivered in Australia. When you have Indigenous people get together from different parts of the world, I think it's an important collaboration. We met uh, some wonderful people. Good from our point of view to be able to tell our story. Indigenous leaders in Australia and Canada will continue to collaborate on conservation efforts. This needs to be a permanent way in both of our countries to do business in terms of land management. You'll see more and more and more positive outcomes and that's what we've seen in Australia. Same kind of investment in Canada have similar kind of benefit. Learn more at landneedsguardians.ca and countryneedspeople.org.au.